Hey pals! So last time we ended off with me taking all the fabric and foam off of the couch frame and so the next step was to put the cover together. So lots of pins and lots of finger stabbing. Like last time, there will be time jumping and don't forget I don't actually know what I'm doing with this so I made everything up as I went along. Um, yeah, this isn't an instructional video. Okay, This is an how I did it video. So let's jump in. After figuring out what I was doing with laying the padding pieces down and also remembering how to load my staple gun, I got things underway with attaching things. One thing I will say is that if you ever choose to do something like this, do not throw things away until you're well underway with the reconstruction because you never know when you're going to need to double check something. wasn't being the safest with the staple gun, at least in the way of PPE. Stocking feet plus stray staple wouldn't equal a very good time. That didn't happen to me, so yay, <laughs> but it could have. Uh, though I had worse injuries from accidentally gouging myself with the flathead when I was removing the staples from the original foam, but at least I remembered to put the safety on the staple gun when I took breaks. So, um, I thought I had enough foam to, like, of the, the, not the seating foam, but, like, just the, the regular basic padding foam to do the whole couch. But apparently I am, like, two panels short of what I bought a bajillion years ago. So... My couch is now stuck like this until I can until I can get to fabric land. So yeah, that's fun. Um, shit, <clears throat> which sucks because I have day some days off work right now, and this is like. The perfect time to do this project. So hopefully I can I can get to the fabric shop soon. Fingers crossed. Knock wood. Actually, I literally have wood that I can knock right now. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna put the big old pause button on this for now. Until I can do that. Alright. been my couch for like over a week <laughs> but I finally got some foam it's just like the padding foam not the cushion foam the cushion foam a lot more expensive but I was I think I have enough 
of the padding foam to get the couch done, which is <clears throat> what I need because this is stressing me out. Finally done putting the padding on. It all looks pretty bumpy and like it's definitely not as good as the other one, as, as the original. Let's see. And like with this, I realized part way through that when I was waiting for for the stuff, that it uh, it didn't need to be the full front panel. So I hope that doesn't mess with the fabric that I've already cut for this. But yeah, so there's that. I think I said before. I don't remember. I am not replacing the batting because that's just gonna be even more of a bitch, and I don't wanna. It doesn't look as weird. With the batting over it, it still looks a little weird, but not as weird. The next step is to pin uh, the fabric. I'm going to start with the back panel and then work out from there. The back back is one of the biggest flat straight panels of this whole thing. So what I am planning on doing is pinning the back panel, the back back panel to, to the batting on the back. And then I will be then pinning all the other pieces to that, like then, then I'll, I'll, I'll just work my way out over the rest of the couch. And I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I'm doing it. I did a few things a little differently on the chair. Uh, some of that was wrapping the foam over the arms instead of putting a strip like I did with the couch, cause that was a dumb thing to do. Also, when I was removing the foam, I didn't completely remove the cardboard pieces on the arm fronts. I just removed the staples that I had to so I could get to the foam underneath. I didn't want to have to redo things I didn't need to, so yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I ended up doing enough of that when I was stitching, so yeah. Is all I have left is all I need to cover that's it that's all like it's not even a full sheet and and that is what I'm short like <sighs> maybe I'll get to to fabric land within the next couple days we'll see <laughs> um, but yeah I'm I'm a little frustrated because that's all I have. That's all I need. And then all I need to do is stitch. Pin and stitch. Ah! Ah! With a fresh weight for foam starting, let me take you back in time to when I was pinning and stitching the couch cover. I did way more pinning than I needed to. I was constantly pinning the back, then adding the next bit out from it, removing it all from the couch, then stitching what needed to be stitched, then repinning again, and then etc, 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 etc. If I remember correctly, the conversation with my brain went like this. Why am I doing it this way? Hmm? There's got to be a better way. Uh, seriously? Nah, this is good. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. 
or something like that. stitched everything just to add another layer of why am I doing this to myself to the mix. Although it was nice to practice my hand stitching, even if it was just simple running and back stitches, it had been a while. Now I just need a thimble that can fit on the appropriate finger and I can stitch faster by hand. Another perk to hand stitching was that I could catch up on YouTube videos that I was behind on. Well, it's a park until you get called out by one of the videos you're watching because you're not giving it your undivided attention. Don't just let the audio of this play in the background while you're working. Click back on the YouTube tab and look at me. That tree can get it. <laughs> spent like <laughs> hours, I, I'm not sure exactly how many, but hours yesterday working on, I don't know, can we see, on this seam. However, I did it the wrong way. So this is seen on the outside of the couch when I wanted it to be like this, just nice and inside. So now, <clears throat> on top of that side and stitching all that up, I now have to unpick all of that and redo it. Yeah, um, yeah, to say I'm a little frustrated is, is, uh, is an understatement. So years ago, I bought a damask fabric print. It's not reversible like a true damask, just a print. But it was affordable, so I got to start my history bounding aspirations with this project. So happy! I was just trying to be as economical with my cuts as possible. I didn't think about uh, the pattern and the way it was going to go. So I have it like this, right, on the arms, uh, on the front panel of the arms, but like this going horizontal instead of vertical. So I'm very sad because I wasn't thinking back then and I don't have I don't have the fabric and enough of it now to fix this. So it's just something I have to live with. Um, <laughs> which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I have finished, we're just gonna burn. So all this is washed and dried and yeah, okay, it's, you know, crumpled right now, but I ironed everything out one last time. So now 
All I have to do <clears throat> is attach the big chunk of black fabric and then I to to the couch and then I think oh maybe not. This is what happens when you think about things as you do them and then decide to talk about it while you're thinking. <laughs> Which is pretty much his project in a nut. But the rest of the couch will be for part three. With the chair, my brain finally caught up and I did the pinning phase differently. I pinned and basted everything at once and then removed it all and then stitched. It did make it a little annoying to remove so I could actually stitch because the batting was attached in some spots, but I wasn't constantly stabbing myself with pins, so woohoo! <laughs> I literally put blood, sweat, and tears into this project. stitching today. Ugh, excuse me. I think I'm going to take the rest of the night off. I think that'll be best for excuse me, the brain. Although I will at least unpin all this. Okay, so I have finished all the stitching of everything that I basted uh, from this random seat panel, which I think I'm going to attach, I hope that this shows up, that I will attach to this bit, <laughs> um, at least along here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to attach it along this bit. It depends on, sorry, it, um, it, it'll depend on if I can staple it on the inside or not, if it's long enough. Uh, and actually the same goes for this seam and this seam um, once everything is said and done. I know I'll have to attach, like, sew this little bit up and same on this side, but I, meh, <laughs> I am going to wait to do that until I've decided if I'm stapling or stitching. I want to staple if if I can, um, and I think I should probably attach a bit more length to this side. This side seems pretty good to get right up in there, <clears throat> but aside from that, I think I have done as much as I can for now because I'm still waiting. I ordered the foam yesterday, so I can do this on this side and the other. Um, so once I get the, that foam, eh, cover, eh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so once I get that foam and I've attached it, then I can do like this part. Again, I hope I'm actually getting this because yay. Um, but then I can do like the damask stuff. And then, yeah, I'm getting closer. This one's gone a lot faster considering it's, what, mid-April? Mid, yeah, or late mid-April. <laughs> and to do the couch, it took me, like, all for it. Seriously, I started it end of February and finished it early April. So it took a while. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so this one's going a lot faster. Um, that's it for now. And we'll come back when I've gotten the foam. I finally got the foam I ordered. Actually, oh, yeah, actually I got it last week. <clears throat> but, you know, brain was kind of in an anxiety spiral and I couldn't really do much of anything. So, that was fun. But this week, 
I'm finally going to get back on this. Um, so I just got to add, sorry, got to add the foam to that, this little bit here and over here. <clears throat> and then I can pin and baste and everything, the, the front panels, and then just finish stitching. And yeah, <laughs> uh, so it's almost done. Almost done. And yeah, um, yeah, sorry, brain's just like, my sinuses are bugging me, and it's just, <laughs> it's spring, finally. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on this now. So, I have done the basting I needed to do, and now it's on to stitching and washing the fabric one more time, just because, I don't know, I just, I did that with the couch, I thought it was the right thing to do, so I'm going to do it again. Um, and then, I get to put everything back on and staple again, yay! I don't know how long it's going to take me to, uh, to do all the stitching. <clears throat> at least not yet, um, but I have been keeping a running t running tally of all of, of how long I've been doing my hand stitching for for all of this from the couch to the chair and I know you can't see my hands when I did that but whatever whatever um but yeah so that's the next step I'm excited to be finished this. I started doing this a certain way. It is actually different than the way I did this because I was like, oh, I wonder if I like it better. No, no, no. I'm actually hating how this is turning out, especially like here in the corner because over here is nice and smooth and lovely. I think, yeah, okay. It's nice and smooth and went, mm, camera, smooth, lovely, not puckering or anything and then on this one it's just going all shit so I now have to unpin everything well almost everything undo all of this stitching and then redo it all because I am smart I am very smart uh, <laughs> um so yeah that's that's next what I'm doing and then we're gonna continue on. We're all good. We're all good. Actually, depending on how long it takes me to unpin everything, because also, <clears throat> I realized, realized that uh, I had forgotten about this piece that goes here, the panel that goes here. Because again, SMRT. So it's over there drying right now. Oh, shit. It's not even fully flat, so I'm just gonna eh. So, <clears throat> more stitching. Might have to wait until tomorrow. I got back on track after I undid the original front panel stuff. I did this part the exact same as the couch in the end. I pinned almost every millimeter of fabric down instead of basting. And while that meant it took what felt like forever, it gave me more control over the fabric while I was stitching and helped keep everything pulled taut while I was working.
in the end it took about 115 hours to do all the stitching. It was quite the journey, but that is all for this bit. You can see the final miles of the check in part 3, whenever I finish that. <laughs> Until then pals, blessed be.